Hello, Mr. Danny K, third time. What's up? <laughs> and there's Porter. Yeah. We we plan today something special. We planned we planned that we show your hi-fi equipment, but you're still waiting on an upgrade. I know that. I know how that feels. Oh, is, is it, it, that... instead we're showing Porter. <laughs> is that the upgrade? <laughs> yes, that's that, that, the upgrade. It's a new woofer technology. Uh, it's uh, important. Come on. Okay. That has got to go do video. Come on. I know, I know you want to go for your walk. They haven't gone for their walk yet. Cause it's uh, we, we have a time difference. Of course we have nine uh, hours, nine hours. And um, it's uh, seven 30, I believe here. AM in sunny uh, Los Angeles, Long Beach, California. Porter, come on, be good. Uh -huh. And uh, it's what, uh, 4 30, if I'm not mistaken, in Dusseldorf? Yeah, in Dusseldorf, a rainy, yeah. cloudy, Ugh. cold day. Uh, but, Danny, is this your usual listening place? Because if it is, I have some recommendations for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. Yeah, that's exactly how I listen. Uh, the speaker's right here. I hear everything very clearly. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. No, of course not. So, you're absolutely right, Michael. Uh, the, the original plan was we were going to record uh, something very special, uh, a little bit of an insight into the world of a hi-fi reviewer. Wow. Uh, sounds much more glamorous than it is. Um, generally, it involves moving boxes, uh, moving equipment in and out, replacing this with that, taking this amp out, putting this amp in. And one of the reasons that we weren't able to film what we were planning to film today is that I just received a, it's an, like much in high-end audio, nothing new is really new. I mean, that's sort of the first rule in high-end audio is that marketing trumps everything and sound who cares about the sound i mean i'm oversimplifying things and obviously that is not really true because sound does in fact matter but i'm just saying from a marketing perspective things tend to get overpowered and so i received a brand new uh, optical cartridge from a company called ds audio in japan and it's been taken the last week. It's completely upended my view on MC cartridges. Mm -hmm. and, you know, both you and I use what I believe to be the best analog front end for MC cartridges, which is Einstein audio, of course, and the phono preamplifiers, especially. And this is, well, I'm not going to get too into it. Let me just say it's remarkable. Okay. It's remarkable what it does. So we wait and a couple so, of days and then we go into it. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And, and how fitting that it is all about vinyl. So anyway, so that's the reason we weren't able to do what we planned to do, which is show everyone my office environment, so to speak, for, uh, for high end audio. But, you know, yeah, but, you I, know uh, if, if I see those speakers, I can imagine that quite some of our viewers want to hear at least about it. So, but we have to wait, no problem. So um, then we change plan plans a little, and which means I am, or I have the lazy part today. I make stupid comments and ask silly questions, and you Love show it. you show some records you think that are remarkable that are worth showing, right? Sounds like a plan. The, uh, the only thing I'll add to that is, so all these records actually, uh, they all arrived this week. So they're, they're literally hot off the press at what I call Chez K, uh, which is my <laughs> home, of course. Uh, and so, um, yeah, so whenever you're ready. I'm ready, I'm snack. ready. Okay, so the first one up is an artist that I started following I want to say three, four years ago with their debut album, uh, they were on the Late Night Tales label, which is a UK label that specializes in, you know, obviously up and coming artists, 
uh, developed artists. Mm -hmm. They have um, one of their one of their uh, uh, core uh, core competencies is giving those artists when they become a little more successful the opportunity to revisit uh, what impressed them and what they used as inspiration for the music that they created. And so the artist that, that I'm referring to is Kruang Bin. Uh, they're from Texas. I believe it's a trio, if I'm not mistaken. And this is their uh, first Late Night Tales release. Uh, just, I believe it just came out a couple of months ago. Uh, this is the special edition from Vinyl Me Please uh, with blue uh, vinyl. Again, and Vinyl Me it, Please, okay. Yes, Vinyl Me Please release. Uh, I believe only 2000 limited edition. So if you want it, uh, you can get it. I believe the, the indie record store release is on orange vinyl or yellow vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. And then this Vinyl Me Please is on blue vinyl. Doesn't and make any difference, I think. I don't think so either. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm guessing this is pressed at GZ, uh, would be my guess. Either GZ, GZ or Optimal. It's not that good, isn't it? <sighs> you know, uh, Optimal, I believe, is much better. RTI? Uh, I've had hit and miss with GZ. I mean, I, I won't deny it. I've had hit and miss with GZ. Same with Vinyl, um, please, isn't it? It's, it's a hit and miss. Or, or am I wrong? No, I think it's hit and miss. I, I think it's hit and miss. In fact, I had uh, one of their Vinyl Me Pre Please releases. Uh, I forgot which one it was. Um, uh, oh, McCoy Tyner. Mm -hmm. It came out, I think, a year ago or so. Uh, I actually had to replace it twice. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was noisy as all get out, unlistenable. The second one was so badly warped. It was like... <laughs> Uh, and then finally, the third one, uh, they sent me, um, took care of everything. Now, I will say this, uh, their customer service is fantastic. Okay. So, you know, if you have any issues, uh, at least here in the U.S., I don't know how it is obviously worldwide. I'm guessing it's, you know, similar experiences. Mm -hmm. um, but here in the U.S., their, you know, turnaround is quick. You send an email, hey, you know, look, this is what happened. They'll send you a new one right away. No questions asked. Okay. Um, so anyway, so this is the beautiful blue Kruang Bin. Okay. And so um, to get into the music a little bit, uh, so this is basically, like I was saying earlier, this Kruang Bin Late Night Tales issue is a, uh, it's it's all of the, or, or many of the artists that influenced Kruang Bin themselves. So, you know, and they're a little bit out there as far as, you know, the, the I don't want to call it world music genre. I mean, that's kind of like, become an overused term but um you know you certainly have um uh you know there's david marez on here gerald lee um nazia hassan uh kelly doyle uh, frankly i've you know admittedly outside of a few of these i've never heard of most of them uh but the music is fantastic it very well recorded um and I, I, you know, all I, I probably have a dozen, if not more, of these late night tales artist releases. The first one that I got actually was from one of my favorite French bands, Air. I uh, highly recommend you get it. I don't know if it's still in print. I think it is. I don't think that these official late night tales releases are limited. I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but phenomenal album. I highly recommend if you want to kind of understand more what Kruang Bin listens to and what inspires them to create their own music, which by the way, their own music, their own releases are fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, don't quote me if I say they're analog recordings. I don't know that they are. I'll say this. I wouldn't be surprised if they are because the sound is very, you know, very analog, very punchy. Uh, it, you can hear that tape compression hit in, um, and it, it's just has that glorious, wonderful, warm analog sound. So, so Kruang Bin highly recommended. If you don't have it, go out and get it. Great, sounds good. N noted and archived. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, oh, and I'll send, of course, like we did last time, uh, in the comments below. I'll give you a link to all the records. 
Ah, that would be great, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one up. Oh, this one's fantastic. Um, another knockout release, I have to say, by Chad Kasim and the team at Verve, uh, Sarah Vaughn ah, yeah, the new on Emerson, 1957. Glorious, absolutely glorious. Uh, you know, what, um, what they got out of the tape, it stunning. Great, beautiful. And again, I can't, Chad, wait, I mean, can't wait to get my copy. It's still not here. They are so slow nowadays. Wow. Yeah, you know, uh, I was talking to Chad earlier. He said that they have been so busy with Christmas shopping and holiday yeah. shopping that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that stuff's not shipping out. Plus, don't forget, I mean, you know, I, I not to get COVID negative time. Nancy here, uh, we do have this thing called COVID or something similar. So, yeah, I mean, all joking aside, I mean, obviously, I know it affects people uh, very seriously, so I don't want to make light of it, but... Uh, you know, look at, look at my it, haircut and my beard. No barber. I know, that's right. Yeah, me too. Journey. All closed. All closed. <laughs> I've been wearing the same clothes since March 15th last year. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, March I 14th. For, I hope for you. So that yeah. one is, is also a high... It, it, it's a great one, yeah? Is it? it oh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, wonderful sound. Um, yeah, I like, I like Sarah Vaughan. She's, she's gorgeous. I, I mean, look, Clifford Brown is on here. Uh, Jimmy Jones, um, Roy Haynes on drums. I mean, come on, man. You, you can't. This is a must have. It really is a must have. Right. All analog, of course. Yeah. Uh, like all of these Verve, uh, UME slash Chad Kasson productions are. But it's, it's a must have. I mean, it's, you know, I think she was at her, you know, just getting into her. Uh, you know, as far as repertoire, I think just getting into her sort of peak, uh, again, 1957, so, er, you know, fairly early on. Um, and, it, you know, of course, it's on MRC, uh, wonderful, wonderful label. Uh, you know, I don't dare ask what a mint original of this goes for. Uh, first of all, I sincerely doubt you're going to find it. Yeah. And when you do, be prepared to pay bakshish. Because Is it blue or stereo, Danny? Uh, mono. Beautiful. Great. Beautiful. Can't wait to get mine. Yes. Next one up, and go figure, the hype sticker fell off. So I guess I might as well take the shrink wrap off. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the new, uh, what is this? Always a, uh, take the shrink wrap off. Yeah, th this is a new release on uh, orange vinyl. It's about two inches, uh, 78 RPM. Just kidding. So, no, this is uh, Cornelius. Oh, my friend yes. Cornelius. Yes, actually, here. Let's do a live opening on your channel. Yeah, because you know what's in I have that album, too, because it's <laughs> important. You Then you have never seen what's in the inside. Um, so you're, you're, you're absolutely you're up right. For a surprise. Yes. What, see what happens. So, this is live opening. I've never seen this record before, the inside of it. So let's see what Michael is uh, is telling me to do here. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Turn it oh, around, please. Cool. I, I showed that album on my channel already, but it's a long time ago. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, see, oh, that's, what you, that's what you miss when you always put that stupid shrink wrap on your records. Well, you know, somebody told me that if you do that why is this not closing now somebody told me that if you if you do that oh um the value uh the value of the record is higher yeah so was, you get two bucks more Ooh. well exactly plus i listen to my records i i don't necessarily uh buy them to collect them so anyway so this is uh this is cornelius japanese the, artist please, danny show the cover once more please i think was well, not yeah, I, I think this Cornelius guy, he's a Japanese artist and he has done, an, uh, you know, Richie Sakamoto, of course, and he has done his uh, Async, was one of his last albums. And uh, I think Cornelius also did on 
one song on the remodel of Async, and it did, yeah, yeah, it's flattered vinyl. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. It's a great album. It's a great album. I, I got into Cornelius uh, about 10, 15 years ago with his record. I don't believe it's out on vinyl, at least I've not seen it. Uh, it the, the CD is like this multicolored blue and white and yellow sort of um, uh, just paint dripping down. I forgot what it's called. Um, so much for me being a vinyl expert. Uh, but no, look it up. Uh, if you go to allmusic.com, it's like the, the online, uh, uh, you know, Wikipedia of all the music that's out there. If you just search for his discography, yeah, you'll, you'll see that. Cornelius is a great guy. I totally agree. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, yes. and by the way, phenomenal recording. Uh, the, the, the records that I've heard from him are all very well recorded. And of course, you know, with, with the setup that I have, I tell you, you put this on and, you know, pants are flapping. Uh, walls are shaking. It's it's a it's a rockin' record. It's fantastic, beautiful sort of. What would you class, classify him as? Like huh? Huh. what avant garde electronica or or? Yeah, he's he's I, all over. I, 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 he is sometimes. He is. but sometimes like folk music. He's very yes. very versatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. You know, I, I I'd love to know who inspires him. Like he should do a late night tales album. Okay. I think that I, I think that would be absolutely insightful because you're right. He's all over the place. Uh, some of his albums are more jazzy. Then you some know they've got more some of a rock and roll feel. Then, then all acoustic. Very different. Very different. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, beautiful, wonderful Melody Gardo. Yeah, I just got this uh, this week. It's beautiful. What I love pressing? all of her albums. Yeah, me too. How is the pressing? Fantastic. Is it quiet? It's yes. dead quiet, isn't it? Dead quiet. I don't know where it's pressed. Uh, you know. But uh, I think the the, the label is Decca, isn't it? Yes. Where do they press? GZ or Optimal? I don't know. Uh, mine is, uh, mine is in the them. mail. It's, it's out for some days, but I, I ordered it a few days ago and can't wait to get it. But but Melody Jadot, Melody Jadot is always a sure bet, in my opinion. You can't yes. get wrong with her. No, I'm, and in fact, I have... Uh, she's right over here somewhere, if I take... Not, oh, yeah, right here. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. No. There is her live album, 3LP. Uh, I believe it came out two, three years ago. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, she was in Vienna, my hometown, of course, uh, my former hometown. Uh, I believe she, you know, Brussels, uh, London. I, I think it was a world tour, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So it was uh, it, phenomenal. So yeah, Melody Gardot must have beautiful melodic music. Her voice is is so sumptuous. Yeah. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful jazz uh, performer, I, I guess I would say. I mean, you know, obviously female vocal, um, wonderful tunes, and, and just great. Absolutely great. So next up, uh, true story. So I was at my friend uh, Mike Rose's in uh, Newport Beach. He owns a hi-fi shop and uh, Audio Excellence, or no, Excel Audio, sorry, Excel Audio. And he, he's smart in that, you know, he not only sells the equipment, but he also has a, a crazy big vinyl uh, store as well. Mm -hmm. And so one of the customers in there that I ran into uh, was listening to some speakers that he was interested in. And he was playing this uh, sort of Middle Eastern infused Arabic uh, world themed, you know, it had a bit of a jazzy tune, had a bit of a rock and roll tune. You know, obviously very much with Middle Eastern instruments. And I was like, hey, well, what is this? This sounds really good. And it was well recorded too. And he goes, oh, this is uh, Tina Riven. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I don't, I apologize. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, double LP, gatefold. Looks great. Highly recommended. Okay. Highly recommended. In fact, I listened to, this is the, the, the record I bought then and there on the spot. And I, I since purchased the entire catalog 
uh, which they have on vinyl. And it's phenomenal. Okay. Uh, absolutely great, great world music. Uh, again, it seems like there's a, a whole slew of, of artists um, that are part of the band. Again, I don't really know too much about them. I just got into them literally a week ago, but phenomenal music. Absolutely lovely. Great beats. Um, fantastic. Highly right. recommend it. Highly recommend right. it. Right. And then... Last but not least, well, actually, penultimate, the penultimate record, because I have a very special one coming at the end. So, of course, who doesn't know Tom Waits? So Tom Waits and Crystal Gale uh, did an album, a duet album together, one from the heart on Mobile Fidelity, of course. Uh, and since this is the original master recording, um, it's obviously from the original tapes absolutely amazing yes, I, I i have that too and i really like it it's great it's beautiful but, I, but it's out there for quite some time isn't it i think so i just heard of it um yes. not too long ago a friend of mine was playing it for me mm -hmm. i had not seen the movie um but it's the music is phenomenal uh, i mean tom waits come on you know you can't go wrong with tom waits oh, you can't. also and, the and, remaster of his whole catalog i, I think He's done a good job with it. Yes. The whole uh, and his, You know, when, when you hear that raspiness in his voice and, and, and it's just solo guitar, piano, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, obviously Crystal Gale yeah. and it's, oh man, ah, it, it definitely like one of those goosebump moments. Right. So I highly recommend it. I, I know it's still in, in, in press. It's, um, in, it's in print, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, when did this come out? You know, I don't think they ever put the dates on here. I don't know. It probably came out a while ago. Yeah, it's it's out for quite some time now. It's not a yeah. new one, yeah. but it's a great one, and that's the most important thing. Absolutely phenomenal. I I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I, I, you know, I think this could become one of those reference discs for hi-fi setup. Really? Uh, setting well, up your speakers. You go this far, okay? I, I think so. I think so. I mean, it's, it's, you know, there's so much information uh, on his voice and her voice. Um, the, the, the juxtaposition, right? He, he's got that raspiness, right? And, and, you know, you can hear, obviously, you know, the inflections and, and you know, as he's, as he's singing. Uh, yeah. So I, I think it's a great setup record. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised um, if this becomes one of my one of my demo discs uh, mm -hmm. to, to listen to new equipment. Certainly I played it with this new optical cartridge. And anyway, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. I, know. I will I, know. I will at some point, but not yet. You have to be patient. So, and then there's one more. There was a subwoofer I was talking about. Earlier. Yeah, he, he seems to, or she or he seems to Both like it. He and she. He and she, yeah, yeah I have two. Chloe and Porter. <laughs> The rascals. No, it's, uh, you know, what's been happening lately, uh, the mail, uh, if you have boxes or packages being delivered, they come in the morning, and then the regular mail comes in the afternoon. So, I, I, you know, I don't know if this is a COVID-related thing or whatever, but anyway. So, I, I, I said I, I, I left the best for last. And this is yes. really a truly phenomenal record that okay. my dear friend Chris Somovigo recommended. Black Cat Cable, uh, he's in Atlanta, Georgia, has been in the hi-fi business for, gosh, probably almost 40 years, 35, 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, you know, multi-talents, uh, but I, I'm, he made me a pair of his uh, highest end cables for, uh, for the, the, the evaluation of the, uh, the Wilson uh, Chronosonic XVX, and you gotta get that? Uh, I can't, sorry. Wait a it's second. It's your stockbroker calling. So here we are back again. Sorry, it was a disturbance. Uh, uh, Danny interrupted you. I'm very sorry. So start all over again with your final recommendation for today. Excuse me. Okay, final recommendation. So my, uh, my dear friend, Chris Somovigo, Black Cat Cable, uh, he's been in audio for 35, 40 years. He's in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, 
you know, his cable designs are very bespoke, uh, very much custom made. It's nothing is off the shelf. And so he made me his highest end. He's got three levels of cable. He made me his highest end cables for the Chronosonic XVX uh, Wilson speakers. Wow. And, uh, you know, big into music, which is one of the things I love. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, there's so many people in high end audio, believe it or not. Hang on. There's so many people in high end audio that they don't listen to music really, which is fascinating. <laughs> Manufacturers, right. They, they, I mean, I guess they look at test tones. All about and, technique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the, the, what does the graph look like? And is it flat? And <clears throat> You know, is there a bump here or, you know, what can I tweak there? And yeah. they get too much into the, the weeds of it. Yeah. And, you know, of course, the, the, the folks at Wilson Audio, I, I mean, David Wilson was a recording engineer first before he started making loudspeakers. So I love when, when I find companies like Einstein, you know, Falker and Annette. You know, I mean, you go into his house. He's all got, what, all his employees, everybody at Einstein are all musicians. They are all musicians. Absolutely. And you hear that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, you go visit him in, in, in his house. He's got, what, 15,000 records? <laughs> you know, and he plays. Like, and, and the same know. amount on of guitars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. And wine. Don't forget the wine. Yeah. Um, okay. So anyway, so, so Chris uh, texts me. He goes, man, because I, I told him I had this new optical cartridge in, right? And he goes, oh, you got to get this record. It's phenomenal. And, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, what? because he always recommends me stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So this is uh, Claude Debussy, Sunken Cathedral. Don't know that. And it's, uh, it's obviously a piano recording uh, with Jackson Berkey as the pianist. I, admittedly i don't know of him uh certainly the first time i've heard of his name but here's what's special about it it's a direct to disc okay. i don't know if you can see that uh beautiful cover i mean you know nice sort of 70s came out in 78 mm -hmm. you know I, i would say 78 80 probably the height of direct to disc mm -hmm. recordings mm -hmm. uh of course I, you know for our viewers so Uh, but how can I get it? Is it very expensive? Yes. Oh. No, 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 no. So uh, this is the best part. Okay. So because audiophiles uh, today haven't discovered this yet, of course, you know, after our video, it, the price will probably go up, I would assume. <laughs> um, but because audiophiles haven't discovered this, you can get this, lo and behold, for $10. Oh, that's a nice price. On eBay or Discogs, uh, they, they must have pressed a ton of these. Uh, I, you know, I'm guessing it wasn't a top seller because there's still. I mean, I, I I bought the sealed copy, no problem on eBay. And it's, let me tell you something. I, I mean, obviously, I have you know my whole classical section over there, big into classical music. I don't believe, this is going to sound very, very powerful now. I don't believe that I have a piano recording better than this. Okay. And, and I sincerely mean that. This is okay. not yeah. hyperbole, cliche, all the audiophilisms. I'm genuinely, honestly telling you, this is a must-have Uh, Danny, uh, Danny, I have to quit now. I have to order that. I see you tomorrow. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, order before the price goes up to $12. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, so okay. uh, for, for our viewers, I don't know if... if um, have you ever talked... We should do an episode on direct-to-disc records. I only have one or two. I don't have that many. I, don't have I, I, I think that would be a phenomenal subject. Um, mm. So... Real quick, direct-to-disc basically means that the cutting lathe was used to record directly from the mic feed into the cutting lathe, right? So there's no tape recorder 
There's obviously no digital recorder. There's no recorder of any kind. I mean, they could have run that as backup. And no mastering. Uh, it's just as it is. Just as it is, straight up. Not that, so, easy, for, not, not that easy for the musicians. Uh, not easy for the musician because guess what? There's no, there's no take two. There's no take three. Uh -huh. There's no editing in post. Uh -huh. uh, for the recording engineer, it is a nightmare. Uh, believe it or not. You just sit you know, there and said, make, make fast because the side is at the end. <laughs> I, I would be, you know, I, I don't know how many, but let me tell you, the, the, um, what you have to know intuitively as a recording engineer, mm -hmm. and this is obviously something that you really can't learn. You can't read a book about it. You can't, you know, download uh, uh, an Amazon book. Uh, uh, article on it or, or whatever, or watch a YouTube video. This is something that you have with experience because what happens is as he's playing the modulation and the dynamic swings, guess what? You have to anticipate those because if, if you over modulate, ah, of course, yeah, sure, sure. Right. And you have to, and so yeah. the art required and the knowledge required in, in a direct to disc recording, is unbelievable. I mean, truly hats off to the engineers. But anyway, look, get this record. It's absolutely great, great recommendation. I, I will, of and course, I will look for a great recommendation. I hope Michael, I can get it here over at yeah. Europe. But I, I you will. Yeah, yeah. You will. Yeah. Uh, Michael, let me tell you, you will listen, you will have a whole new appreciation for piano. That's how I, good I, it's I, I love the piano. Beautiful. Already. But I'm, 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 I can't wait to get into that. Great. It, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So that's so it anyway, today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, great. Thank end. you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Because it's always Thank nice. You know, it always makes the life much easier when you have a reliable source and, and he tells you, you know, trust me, you can get into that. That always helps because there is so much out there nowadays. It's quite so much great stuff, but also a lot of junk, right? Mm -hmm. So I think to, to your point, um, you know, I have a couple of curators uh, that I trust. And yeah, listen. that's important. That's very, and very so important. I, you have to have that, right? And so, I, you know, hopefully you've, uh, you've picked up something new. Uh, I did. And uh, for my part, I, I have three now I will definitely go into. I will go into this uh, Tanivaran. I will go into this direct to disc. And yeah, the Melody Jardot is always, it's already on, on, on its way. That's, that's, a, uh, that's, that's a stable mate. Um, so we see us very soon because we have another very, very special guest who will come soon. Very excited. Porter? That. Yes. Porter is excited too. <laughs> then we will do your hi-fi equipment. So that means we see you around here in the next couple yes. of days. Looking forward to it. Uh, I, I think the special guest is going to be phenomenal. Um, yeah, I think it, so too. I, I think there's yeah. I think there's gonna be so much education. Um, so anyway, <laughs> super excited about that. And, and Porter is too. Um, <laughs> That's the, the most. I, I think. I think he needs to go for a pee. For a walk, yeah, I know he does. He does. All right, Michael, thank you so much. Uh, everyone watching, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk soon. See you. Thank you, Danny. Ciao. See you. Bye. Bye.